the heck is up with 5G? First, people said it caused COVID. It did not. Now people are saying it's interfering with airplane technology. <laughs> That one is unfortunately true. And this all went down in a very dramatic fashion with headlines reading chaos, catastrophe, death, commerce, hell, and cancellations with the White House, the FAA, and the FCC and cell phone carriers all going head to head with a new launch of a new type of 5G. And all of these headlines, chaos, catastrophe, death are very triggering to anybody planning to get on an airplane and just the airline industry in general. No one wants to hear this. So is 5G really that dangerous? What's the solution here? And how did it get to this point? Well, I'm going to break it all down for you. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistle Out. Let's go. If you haven't yet, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I come out with two videos every week all about the telecommunication industry, and I'd love for you to join along. So what's the solution here? How can we keep growing our cell phone technology while keeping airplanes safe in the air and upon landing and takeoff, which is what the technology is interfering with with 5G? Well, AT&T and Verizon have come to an agreement with the FAA saying they will not launch their new 5G within two miles of airports around the country. Now, I say new 5G because not all 5G is created equal and not all 5G is interfering with airplane technology and altimeters. So if you want to learn more about 5G, I have some videos on my channel. You can click it right here to learn more. To break it down a little bit further, this new 5G is called C-band. C-band is just one form of 5G. It falls in the the mid band category. There's a low band and a high band. This is mid band. Mid band is a unicorn signal. It's much faster than 4G and the low band 5G, and it spreads much further than the high band 5G, and the speeds are stellar. Basically, what I'm saying is this is a unicorn signal. It is basically perfect if it didn't down airplanes. So, AT&T and Verizon are not launching around airports right now, but they are launching and have launched at this point everywhere else around the country. Verizon will be covering 100 million Americans with their new service in over 1700 cities. AT&T's launch, it was a little bit smaller. They only cover eight cities with C-band and half of those are in Texas, the home of AT&T, AT&T's homeland. And now everything really is bigger in Texas, including AT&T's cell phone service. <laughs> Next, we're going to go over what kind of speeds you can get with C-band and then why C-band is so important. You might be thinking, Sherry, I don't care about 5G if my plane's going to crash on landing and I get it. But that aside, once that situation is all figured out, there are some really important aspects of C-band that I'm excited to share with you. So give me 30 seconds here, OK? So what speeds can you expect with C-band? Well, right off the top, it's going to be about six to eight times faster than your average 5G signal and your average 4G LTE speed. So at tops, at the max, we're looking at about six to 800 Mbps. That is six to eight times faster. On the very low level, we're looking at like one to two times faster from like 150 to 200 Mbps on average almost all the time. So right off the bat, awesome speeds and you will notice a difference with this. And chances are, if you're an AT&T customer or Verizon customer in places where they launched C-band, you're likely noticing and receiving a much better, stronger signal as we speak. And that's pretty darn cool. Now, speed aside, we don't need faster speeds. What 5G does, the big reason we need it is because it takes capacity or it rather adds more capacity to towers. Right now, towers are so slammed with how much people are using their cell phones that it's just getting jammed, it's getting busy. 5G opens that up. It has much more capacity to take information and give information. So it's a really good thing long-term. It's not just speed, it's capacity. And 5G C-band has an incredible ability to open that capacity wide up, wide open, whatever. You know what I mean. I also can't even get into this other aspect of 5G C-band, which is home internet. That's a whole nother category. Will 5G finally enable us more options besides cable and fiber for our home internet? Yes, it will, but that deserves its own video. So we're gonna move on to 
more upsetting topics like what does this mean for society okay c-band is great but is it great if it's at the cost of the airline industry crashing planes no but we're getting to it so let's get there first let's talk about all the problems c-band has caused thus far <laughs> It's comical. It really is comical. It's it's honestly absurd that it's gotten to this point, but I'll let the president of the United Arab Emirates put it perfectly. He said, and I quote, this is the most delinquent mess I've ever seen in my entire career. And he fully blames the Biden administration for giving this C-band the green light when there was obviously so much and so many things that needed to be dealt with prior to this launch. So. It's, it's been absurd. C-Band has been in the works for over a year. 5G has been in the works for many years. Why just now are we figuring it out? Flights around the country got delayed or canceled. Commerce shipments are going to be delayed or need to be resent. Flights from international countries have been canceled and some countries aren't even going to allow flights into the United States until this is taken care of. And this Band-Aid solution of not opening C-Band within two miles of airports isn't cutting it for many countries, including the United Arab Emirates, Japan, and a few others around the world. So what does this solution look like long term? Well, I have one idea. Verizon has spent $50 billion getting this project off the ground. 50 billion. That's a number I can't hardly, I, I can't conceive I can't, it's a big number. That's a lot of money. AT&T has spent billions of dollars as well, not 50, but they're right up there. So I don't see cell phone carriers spending even more money to fix this since they've already done their part. That's how I just see them reacting. What I see happening is airline industries revamping their technology, getting new technology, updating their planes with new altimeters and new products that don't interfere with the C-band signal. I think that'll be a much faster and a much cheaper fix than doing anything with C-band and the carriers. I just don't see that happening. So in the long term, that's what I think is going to happen. I think that fix will be on its way in the next year because this Band-Aid, this dollar store Band-Aid, it's not going to last. But we'll see what happens in the next few months and years as this progresses. Let me know what you think of this 5G drama and this 5G mess. I'd love to hear from you. I'm Sherry Riggs with Whistle Out TV.